Look who's back with us, Congresswoman Kat Kamek from House Energy and Commerce. Great to have you back on, Congresswoman. You know, that committee hearing you were at, it was explosive with TikTok CEO yesterday. You were fired up. Does China really spy on Americans through TikTok? Does it really grab each and every keystroke, which means China can get our passwords too, even if we're not on TikTok? Yeah, absolutely, Liz. It was explosive, to say the least. When you think about what was revealed and what was omitted from the CEO's testimony, it really was pretty glaring. Well, I had one of my colleagues ask, does TikTok access your home Wi-Fi? And he couldn't answer that explicitly, saying no. And then later on, he kind of admitted that, yes, they do access your home Wi-Fi and all data that is on your home Wi-Fi. Then we talked about the fact that there were the CCP connections to ByteDance and TikTok, ByteDance being the parent company. When I had an internal memo that I presented to the CEO that said, why are you telling senior management to downplay the China connection and downplay the ByteDance connection and the AI connection? He said, well, I, I don't know about that memo. They claim to be transparent, but their actions are anything but. TikTok is a real threat to our national security. They are harvesting data. They're not selling it. They're collecting it for nefarious purposes by the CCP. And it's everything on your phone from your passwords, your keystrokes, to your health data, your geolocation. We saw how they use that to spy on journalists. And then, of course, your associations and your network. It's a dangerous, dangerous app, and it is all for the benefit of the CCP. So what nefarious purposes would they be using the information for? Well, we're in the 21st century where this is not conventional big box warfare anymore. We're entering the era of asymmetrical warfare, where it is based on cyber, where it is based on information, and China is seeking to dominate the information economy. Everything from our communication to our GPS, everything is rooted in who controls narratives, who uses the data that they have collected over time and for what purposes. And it's just like what the Indian government said when they banned TikTok a couple years ago. They said, are you going to delete all the data that you had cached? And they said, no. Internal memos from within the CCP indicated that they would be using that information if they ever went to war against the Indian government. Right. That right okay. there should put chills up and down every American so, spine. Do you think President Biden would sign a bipartisan bill to ban TikTok? Would you be for that? I think he would sign a bipartisan bill. And the thing that was pretty shocking, Liz, was that yesterday Republicans and Democrats came together on the issue of holding TikTok accountable, not just for all of the content that they're pushing out that is driving kids to do all these insane things because their algorithm is rooted in an AI behavioral algorithm, not like Meta. And I'm not defending Meta. I have my own issues with them. Okay. But we went together as bipartisan effort to go after TikTok and highlight the fact that they need to be held accountable. Yeah. But more broadly, we need to get to a national data privacy standard. You know, That's where we need to head. Congressman, we have a significant game changer. It could be a blow to TikTok, to Facebook, to social media, to Twitter. Utah, now the first state out of the box, to pass a new law requiring minors to get their parents' consent first before they go on social media. We have four states that could follow, Ohio, Minnesota, Connecticut, and Arkansas. This is a big deal. I mean, there's a mental health crisis, especially for young women. These algorithms keep children hooked. And to what you're saying, there's data privacy problems, too. Yeah, certainly. The thing that I keep trying to, to share with people and educate folks is that TikTok's algorithm, it's a behavioral based one. It's different than Meta, like Facebook and Instagram. They give you an algorithm based on what accounts and people you follow. With TikTok, it's about how much time you spend watching certain videos. And in order to keep your attention, they keep upping the rhetoric, upping the ante, making it more shocking. So if you spend 30 minutes watching maybe a sexually suggestive video of someone dancing, the next video you're going to see is designed to keep you on that video for 45 seconds and it's going to be more revealing so they're doing that to distract you while they take your data and again it's all for nefarious purposes this is why we've got to get to the bottom of it we've got to move forward with a national data privacy standard well it's an in incredible country. story congressman kamik thanks for breaking it down for their viewers that was really helpful and we appreciate Thank your you. insights we hope you have a good weekend